What's happening, Win It Love family? It's the, oh, snap, man. It's the Win family. Hey, Jane. Hey, I don't know what I was doing with that intro. <laughs> but, uh, we're going to keep it rolling, though. We have a question that you wrote in to us, uh, and I will give it to my wife, Jim O'Kay, my lovely, beautiful, awesome, amazing uh, woman of God here, the mic, so that she can ask, read off the question. All right. I hope this thing is not too loud. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot about the UN. Dang. <laughs> we just messed it up this entire video. I know, right? Ah, hey guys. I really love your content. Hey, it's hot. Oh my God. This, this Las Vegas weather. I've been following Jumoke for a while and I'm so happy she found her kingdom stuff. Um, I have a question for you guys to answer, but I think it needs a bit of context first. So I've been getting to know someone who is a really great guy and has strong Christian values. He's Catholic and I'm Pentecostal. So although we both really love God, we have a few doc doctrinal doctrinal differences and I've been thinking about. So my question is kind of twofold. Did you guys encounter any doctrinal differences while dating slash courting? If so, how did you resolve them? If not, do you think doctrinal differences should be taken into consideration when vetting someone? Thanks, guys. Take it away, baby. All right, baby. Baby, place it. Uh, was there a name that that addressed us? I don't think we need to say the Okay, well, we, we said Rochelle's name in the last one because she signed Tola. it at the this bottom. Tola. Okay, Tola. Uh, <laughs> thank you for your question. Uh, so, two parts. Did we have any doctrinal differences that we realized as we were dating? No. We had conversations about who Christ was in our lives and how we arrived at our faith. But in terms of how we believe who Christ was in our life, we had agreement. So there were no doctrinal differences between us as we dated. Uh, now, taking into consideration doctrinal differences as you're dating, I would say doctrine is important as far as who Christ is to you and who Christ is to your partner. And you guys have to agree on that. Uh, who do you believe Christ is to you, right? That uh, he died on the cross and he rose three days later, that he was born of a Virgin Mary. Uh, these things are what is important in, let's say, our understanding and our beliefs. In the Christian faith in right? general. In the Christian faith in general. Well, I'm, I'm talking about in partnership in marriage because you have, you know, the Latter-day Saints who I have recently learned that they believe that Christ and Lucifer are brothers, right? Which is a different doctrinal, a different doctrine yeah. than what we have, right? As believers of Christ, uh, you know, the Judeo-Christian God of the Holy Bible, right? And the New Testament, uh, completely different doctrine, completely different belief. So we were on the same page with who Christ was to each of us in our personal lives. And that is what I would have to say to you um, agree on that and how you worship is different but who you serve is is what's important there you go that's it yeah um i would say um adding to what charles said you have to agree on the foundational things the secondary issues it might not be a big of a deal like what he said you know pentecostals were a bit more um how do i say it? free flowing with our worship right that maybe someone who is um different denomination type maybe Lutheran or, yeah um yeah. anglican you know, yeah. those ones yeah right. they're a bit more structured yeah. in their worship but yeah. do we agree on the foundational doctrinal principles of christianity i think that's one mm -hmm. um so, you know so that's the basics and i think to add to that not just the doctrinal foundations ultimately does this person have a genuine relationship with God 100%. that you see the fruit of? Because 100%. there's a difference of believing in the same doctrine, mm -hmm. but you're just a churchgoer, mm -hmm. right? You can oh, have yeah. strong oh, Christian yeah. values, but not know Christ himself, you know? So oh, if yeah. you don't, if this person does not have a personal relationship with God, but they only know church, I'd be very cautious, right? Mm -hmm. When moving forward with them um, as far as towards commitment, towards marriage, simply because there's just a, a difference, like, you know, like between going to church and having your own personal 
relationship. So mm-hmm. that should be taken into consideration. Values, have believing in doctrine, but like he said, who is Christ to you? Right. That has to be there. And, you know, as far as doctrinal differences, we don't really have that. Mm-hmm. But I think we can also talk to spiritual maturity. Mm-hmm. I think that might be helpful to people who are watching. So it's very common to start dating or courting someone who is not at the same um, spiritual maturity as you are. Now, spiritual maturity doesn't mean that you just go to church every single day. You know, it doesn't mean that you stack chairs. That's not spiritual maturity. It's more so of the fruit and the discipleship of that person, right? Not every Christian has been discipled properly, okay? So they might be a believer, but they probably don't have a strong prayer life. They probably don't fast they probably don't even believe in deliverance they probably don't read the bible besides the gospel (laughs) you know and um they might still be what we would call a baby christian Mm -hmm. in a situation like that again spiritual maturity is not the apex of if someone could get married or not Mm -hmm. truly Mm -hmm. what it is should be does this person have a relationship with god And if they already have a relationship with God and they're still a baby Christian, there's still room to grow. You have the rest of your life to grow. And if that person is a growing believer and is curious about the word of God, is curious about um, all these things, about Christianity, I'd say give them grace and be patient. Right, because if you see them growing, don't just count them out. Oh, he don't speak in tongues, yeah. So we not equally yoked. Why? Why does the Bible say that? Right? <laughs> he don't. He don't speak in tongues. He don't go to church enough. He don't do this. He don't do that. Like, don't look for the works, you know, of a person to determine if they are worthy to walk into a relationship or a marriage. Hallelujah. Is what I would say. I would say be patient with them, encourage them, support them, and keep praying for them. But don't rule them out because they're not at this super spiritual level. They're not the worship leader of a church. No, 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 no. You don't want to have that mentality when you're dating. That's all I would say. Yeah. Yeah, hallelujah. I would say that, you know, we both had a relationship with Christ. Entering this marriage and entering our dating season. And, you know, we have to push relationship with God. Relationship is of the highest importance when making decisions. Uh, relationship is of the highest importance in your relationship. Um, because as he said, a churchgoer is one thing and a child of God, child of God, Holy Spirit filled a believer. Holy Spirit fear believer is another thing. And we encourage the latter. We en- What's going on, family? So our last video got cut off because it was too hot in the car and uh, my phone overheated. So as I was saying, we encourage a relationship with Christ, a relationship with God. Uh, we encourage that Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit filled believer within you and within your partner, your uh, love interest. Uh, and that's what will bind you together uh, in Christ. So if you like this video, um, please Hit that like button. Uh, we certainly appreciate it. And share this with another Holy, Sp- Holy Spirit filled believer who may need to hear this message. Woo! And make sure that if you have any questions that you want us to answer, send us an email at win at love dot ooh, win at love at gmail.com. And we'll see you guys later. Bye yep. guys. Peace.